Hey, well, this is uh, this is another video that I'm going to do that is about wrestling. It's also about music and a couple of other stuff. By the way, just got my mischief shirt. He's so pretty, especially with Daphne. Okay, anyway, time to get to get all my lesbian fan like lesbian fantasies out of the way. Okay, um, now then, okay. For those of you who only think that basically Shimmer is the only decent, um, decent wrestling organization out there for women's wrestling, go try and go check out Chick Chick Fight in the description box. There are a lot of Shimmer um wrestlers there, in including also some wrestlers that were released from the WWE, such as Jazz, as well as some other um lesser known um foreign wrestlers like. Like Blue Blue Nikita, I definitely suggest you guys check out Chick Fight. And also, I also think that for you music lovers, you definitely should should um should subscribe to Music Guru 1983. He is a phenomenal guy. He knows his stuff. Plus, his accent is awesome, and he he's just really open minded and he really deeply believes that music is just something to be liked and loved and be passionate about. And also, if any of you are um, into country or anything and whatnot, um, I definitely suggest you pick you, you check out Great Lyles. I, I, I don't know which one this is. It's not Graceful Ghost. It's her other one. Oh, it is the Graceful Ghost. Okay, so just Graceful Ghost by Great Lyle. Um, she sings mainly about country, and it has a kind of a theme about um mainly the Great Depression based things and basically really historic it's basically historical country for example it was a, it's basically about like sharecropping and like great De again the Great Depression like really historical stuff in 1800s 1930s etc anyway okay so that's just a okay I got the music recommendation out for, to Great Lyle music guru shout out and um my mischief shirt, shirt now. Okay. My now then. Oh, women's wrestling. Oh God. Okay. This is mainly going to be a rant about how the lovely cheerleader Melissa is basically being the mouthpiece to Awesome Kong, and how basically this is why uh, this is why I this is what makes me kind of worried about about um TNA's women's division because WWE's women's division is kind of fixable but it's they they can just be they can just stay at where they're at with Beth Phoenix and Mickey James just doing their thing and plus I think Candice Michelle is is improving and leaning in etc but anyway being TNA okay why the hell are you making a great talent like like Julia and Melissa that also is beautiful which is what I don't, really don't get because that's mainly what mainstream wrestling wrestling promotions are looking for for a pretty face, and they have her basically hiding under a burqa and being the mouthpiece for Austin Kong, who doesn't need a fucking mouthpiece. Because seriously, you don't really need to have cheerleader Melissa wrestle as cheerleader Melissa. For example, for instance, I think cheerleader Melissa's gimmick is not that great. I don't hate it, but I think it could be a hell of a lot better, but she does her thing and she's a talented wrestler and she's fucking hot. Okay, anyway. But seriously. Oh my god, why the hell are you putting, making her basically into a Muslim stereotype for awesome calling? It doesn't need one. And then you also have Raka Kong, who I know Scott Siren is like a freak or something, but seriously, can you just. Um. Like. Again, can you just basically remodel a. Uh, uh, the woman, the woman that you already have, because you have a fair amount of, of women that I think fit the bill more than more more than Raka Khan, or at least just change Raka Khan's name, because that's just plain retarded. Even <laughs> okay, but anyway, Raka Khan is at least always, even though I hate her name. Oh, the main thing is just that again. I think that TNA is basically training into WWE mainly due to the fact that they seem to only have 
two talented women that can put on good decent matches. WWE has basically Mickey James and Beth Phoenix, which is even the IW internet wrestling community agrees with that they're both good wrestlers and they can only and they're the ones that can compete for the title. That's why I'm not including Victoria because she can't compete for a title since she's on SmackDown, which is which is idiotic. Which is idiotic, and I also don't get. But that's for another thing. Anyway, and then basically they don't basically TNA only has Gail Kim and also Kong, and they put on great matches, but they're the only ones that can actually do shit. Like Roxy the Lou, she's good. She's a good talent, and I'm probably one of the few people that actually like her gimmick. I just wish that she that I just wish that she didn't start off in VKM. And then they have Chili and Melissa, another Shimmer alumni who's not even wrestling, but and is probably be and is a lot better and is better than 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 Roxy. No offense to her, but she's basically a manager to Awesome Kong, which makes no sense because Mons are not really sub supposed to have one, especially one such as this one. And then, as and to even be even more stupid, even if Chili and Melissa wasn't a good wrestler, she. Is hiding under a burka? I mean, seriously, if you see him, she's religious. She, she's fucking hot. And basically, if you're actually looking for, to basically mimic the WWE, you're not supposed to hide pretty faces. Yeah, okay, anyway, that's kind of my rant on, on that thing. Pretty cheerleader and Melissa, by the way. Any, okay, and then, um, let's see. Um, let's see, what else is, is there to talk about? Um, oh yeah, in, um, if anybody can actually fill me in on where Mercedes Martinez is in Ring of Honor, like, I know she's with the Vulture Squad, but is she, is she, like, the manager, or is she just a member of it, and if so, are they basically striking up a little feud between the Vulture Squad and Student Sound Incorporated, because I would like to see, like, Sarah Delroy and... Mercedes Martinez go out, go at it in the Ring of Honor ring, in like a feud, and um, I hopefully think Mercedes Martinez will be the next. And this is my prediction. Hopefully, either Mercedes Martinez or Mischief is going to be the um next Shimmer Shimmer champion. Though that those are those are my predictions and also my hopes. And also, if anybody can also tell me where to get a uh, Mercedes Martinez teeny T-shirt without going to her MySpace, because that does she doesn't really give you a link; she just kind of hints at it. That would also be greatly helped. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe, leave comments. You know the rest. And again, she and again, free cheerleader Melissa. I know she's not being treated like crap, like Joe, but she doesn't deserve deserve. Deserve the treatment she's getting here. She's getting TNA. I'm out.